Hi there, it's Jennifer Noel. Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make these granny square evil eye blocks. And then I'm gonna show you how to join them as you make them. Um, that way you can make a big, beautiful blanket out of it. So there are three different colorways. I'm just gonna show you how to make this block today with these colors, but all the information on everything um, for this is on the free tutorial available on my blog. I'll put the link below. So let me show you what you're gonna need. So you need just a few different things. I'm gonna be using a size J six millimeter crochet hook. You need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and you're gonna need two skeins of each of these um, colors of I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby. That's if you're wanting to make a pretty decent sized lapgan. So I have white, turquoise, royal blue, black, and sun gold. So we're gonna start with our black yarn. And this is gonna be the inside of the eye is where we're gonna start. So first you're gonna to need to make a magic ring. So to do that, place your yarn in your hands like this, a little bit of an angle. Pinch this down with your thumb. You're gonna wrap it around the back of your fingers. Come back up to make an X and then flip your hand around and then you're gonna take these fingers and kind of hold it. So that way you have these two lines here. So take your hook, go underneath the first line, grab the second, gently pull it down, and then you're gonna twist the hook down and towards you. And then you're gonna notice this little V up top. You're gonna to work into that V. So we're gonna work onto the left-hand side. Go underneath that little line and then you're gonna pull that through. So that's your magic circle. I do like to pull this little tail out and then you can make it um, looser or tighter, whatever you like. That's why I like starting with the magic rings. So we are gonna start with a chain of two. One, two. That's gonna count as our very first double crochet. So we wanna put 14 double crochets in here. So this will count as one, 14 more will give us a total of 15. So we're gonna yarn over, work directly into the center here. I'm gonna pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's gonna count as our second double crochet. And again, we need 15 total inside of this ring. So there's two. There's three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, two more, fourteen, and fifteen. So now you do wanna count this just to make sure you have the right count. And again, the chain two counts as one. It's kinda of hard to see with black yarn, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now you can take this little tail here and pull it tight. That'll close off this little circle in the center. And then now into the top of your first chain two, just that, that second chain right there, you're gonna pop your hook in and we're gonna slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through and then pull through the yarn on your hook, chain one, and then we can cut our yarn and fasten off. So take your scissors, snip that, and then there you're good to go for round one. So now you wanna weave in your ends at this point. Um, I'll show you how to weave in the ends in the next round because the black is gonna be a little bit hard to see. So I'm gonna weave these in really quick. Go ahead and grab your turquoise color yarn and let's start on round two. 
So we now have our turquoise yarn. To start round two, we're gonna insert our hook into the top of any of the double crochets from the previous round. So it doesn't matter which one, just pop your hook right through. And to attach the next color, with the tail facing you, we're just going to make a little loop, pull that up, make sure to hold on to it up here so it doesn't slip out. We're gonna chain one and pull that tail just a little bit. I like to go back in and do a single crochet. I feel like it makes it a little bit more sturdy, I guess. So we're gonna chain two. That's gonna count as our first double crochet. And what we wanna do for round two is place two double crochets into the top of every single one of the double crochets from the first round. So we're gonna have a total of 15 double crochet, or 30 double crochets, including this first one here. So we're gonna yarn over into the same space. We're gonna work a double crochet, just like that. Now into the top of the next stitch, we're gonna place two double crochets and repeat this pattern on the top of every single stitch all the way around for this row. And you're gonna wanna make sure, again, that you have a total of 30 double crochets. So now we have six. I'll work one more stitch with you. There's seven, eight. So continue around, and then I'll meet you back when we get to the end here. So now I just finished my 30th double crochet. So to finish off round two, we're gonna slip stitch into the top of the chain three space that we made here. So just pop your hook into the top of the chain and then we're gonna slip stitch and then we're gonna chain three. So round three is gonna be worked in turquoise also. So that's gonna count as our very first double crochet Directly into the next stitch here, we're gonna work two double crochets. One and two. And then in the next stitch, we're just gonna place one. So here's one double crochet. And then two double crochets into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat this pattern all the way around. So you're gonna work one double crochet, two double crochet, one, two, all the way around until you get to the end. So I'm gonna continue working around and then I'll meet you back when we get to this last stitch here and show you how to finish off round three. So now when you get to the end of round three, you'll notice that you'll end with these two double crochets here into this last stitch. You'll have a total of 45 double crochets for this round. So to finish this off, you want to go and find the top chain from your beginning chain here. You're gonna pop your hook in. And then we're gonna slip stitch through, chain one, and then you can cut your yarn. And then just pull this through. So to weave in your yarn tails, you're gonna need your tapestry hook. What I like to do is hold it with the open eye area facing up. I'll take the tail of my yarn and what I'll do is just kind of pull it around the needle in between my fingers to make a little bump. Kind of smash it down just a little and then you can pop your hook right through. So now making sure that you're on the back side of your work, you're gonna take your hook and just lightly go through a bunch of the different stitches. And when you flip your work around, you don't wanna see any of the needle here. And you're just gonna pull that through. Don't pull too tight. And then you're gonna go back. Make sure not to come um, go back in the same way that you came out. So find a different stitch. And just kind of do the same thing. Just kind of wiggle it, wiggle it through. You can do this two times or you can do it three times. 
I'm just gonna do it too. And then you can pull this all the way through. And I usually like to pull this just a little so it's not too tight. And then you can just give that a snip. So do that with the other tail here and then go ahead and grab your white yarn. We'll start on round four. So now to start round four, we're gonna do it the same way that we started round two. So into the top of any of these double crochets, doesn't matter which one, just pop your hook in, attach your white yarn, so pull up a loop, chain one, go back in, do a single crochet, and then chain two. So that's gonna count, again, as a double crochet. So for this entire round, we wanna work one double crochet into two stitches and then two double crochets into the next stitch. So this is gonna count as one double crochet. So into the next stitch, we're gonna work another double crochet. And then into the third stitch here, we're gonna work two double crochets. So that's gonna be your entire repeat around this entire row. So again, into the next stitch, one double crochet, one double crochet into the next, and then two double crochets into this next stitch. One, two. So continue with this pattern all the way around, and then I'll meet you here when we get to the last stitch. So now when you come to the end of round four, in the very last stitch, you will be placing two double crochets. One, two. And then to finish off the round, we're gonna do exactly the same as we've been doing. So into the top of the chain space here, you're gonna pop your hook right in and slip stitch. Chain one. And then we can cut our yarn. So go ahead and fasten in your ends, and then we are gonna go and start with round five. This is where we're gonna turn the circle into a square. So go ahead and grab your royal blue color. Now for round five, I usually like to start right where we left off here. So you'll notice that this is kind of a little bumpy on this stitch. Into the one directly to the left is where I like to start. So this is where we fastened off. I just like to pop my hook right into that next stitch. We're gonna attach our royal blue. Make sure you have a tail on the back side. Chain one, go back in for a single crochet. And we're actually gonna chain three. One, two, three. That's gonna count as our very first triple crochet. So into the same space that you just worked in, we're gonna place two more triple crochets. So to do that, you're gonna yarn over twice. One, two, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. So that's your second triple crochet. We're gonna do that one more time. Yarn over twice, go back into the same stitch, Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then two, and then two. So this is actually gonna be your very first corner space. We're just gonna work half of it to start, and then we'll finish um, the corner when we come around the other end. But now we wanna skip two stitches. So we're gonna skip this one, skip the second one. Into this third stitch here, we're gonna place three double crochets. So yarn over, work your double crochet, there's one, two, and then three. You're gonna skip two stitches, and then you're gonna work three half double crochets into the next stitch. So yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, and now you're gonna to wanna to yarn over and pull through all three. So there's one half double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, 
Turn over, go into the same space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three, and one more time. Skip two stitches. We're gonna do three half double crochets into the third stitch here. One, two, three, skip two, and then we're gonna do three double crochets into this stitch here. Two, and then now we've made it to our next corner. So this is gonna have three triple crochets with a chain two and three triple crochets. So yarn over twice, go in, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. There's two, do one more. So now you want to do a chain of two and then three more triple crochets. One, two, and three. So now that is going to be your pattern repeat around the whole entire circle. So what you're gonna do after these three triple crochets is skip two stitches, and then you're gonna do three double crochets, skip two stitches, three half double crochets, and then the next one, three half double, three double, and then you're gonna work your next corner. So you're gonna do this all the way across, and I'll meet you back until we get to this last corner here. So now we're coming to the end of round five, and to finish this corner, we're just gonna do three triple crochets into the same space that we started. One. Two, three. And then to finish off the round, we're gonna chain two and then slip stitch into the top of our first chain here. So pop your hook in and slip stitch. So round six is gonna be worked in the same color. So what we need to do to be in the right place is we're gonna go back into this chain space here and do a single crochet. So just go back into that, pull up a loop, and a single crochet. That puts us in the right position to start round six. So round six, we're gonna chain two. We're gonna start our first half of our corner. So for this entire round, it's gonna be worked in double crochets. So that counts as your first double crochet. We need two more. And then for this entire round, in between each cluster of stitches, we're gonna work three double crochets into every single cluster. And then the corners are gonna get three double crochets with a chain two and three double crochets. So I'll work the first side with you. So three double crochets into this next space here. Three into the next. I know I'm going a little quicker. Three into the next space. And then when you reach your corner, again, we're gonna work three double crochets with a chain two and three double crochets. Chain two and three double crochets. So repeat this pattern all the way around. 
And then I'll meet you back when we get to the first corner here. Here's our last corner, three double crochets with a chain two. So now we're gonna fasten off the royal blue. So into the top of the chain space here, you're gonna do slip stitch, chain one, and fasten off. So we have one round left to go, and that's gonna be worked in this rose gold color here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the rose gold, weave in these ends, and then I'm gonna show you how to start the next round and then also how to join your blocks as you make them. Um, so let me show you what that means. Now round seven is gonna be worked exactly the same as we did the previous round, but we're gonna be doing the entire round in half double crochets. So into any single corner space, you wanna attach your next color. In this case, I'm using, I said rose gold, I meant sun gold. So we're gonna attach the sun gold. So go back into a single crochet. We're only gonna chain one because this row is gonna be worked in half double crochets again. So next to these two, you're gonna work two more half double crochets. There's one and two. And then into the next space in between these clusters, you're gonna work three more half double crochets. Three, three into the next space. This is gonna be your pattern repeat around this whole entire round. And you do wanna complete one full block when you're first starting, your very first block, um, because you're gonna attach each block afterwards to the very first one. It's called um, the join as you go method, and I'll show you exactly how it works. So we're almost to our corner. So to complete one full block, again, into every single corner space, three half double crochets with a chain two and three half double crochets. And then when you come back around the other side, you're just gonna finish this into the same space with three half double crochets and a chain two and a slip stitch. But I wanna show you how to join this to your next, or to your work. Um, so this is an easy way to, again, join as you go. So you have less work at the very end. So we're gonna start our corner. So we're gonna do three half double crochets. I like to do one complete side when I'm attaching the blocks. So I always finish one. And then when I get to the corner, this is where we're gonna start attaching. So I'm gonna grab my blanket. And this is the corner that I'm gonna to attach to. So you'll see this is gonna be worked right in here. So since this corner is normally a chain two, to attach it, we're only gonna chain one and then we're gonna take our hook into the corner space here. Sometimes you have to pull it open just a little bit. This is gonna be where your chain two is. It's a little bit tight for some reason. You're gonna pop your hook from the front of your work back, tighten your yarn here, and you're gonna slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through your work, and then pull through your chain there. Now you're gonna work three half double crochets into this block here. So one, two, three. And you'll notice that we just attached the corner so far. So to keep attaching down the rest of the row, since we're getting ready to go into the next three half double crochets, we're going to match up these three with the three on this corner and then we're going to slip stitch into the space in between here so pop your hook in slip stitch make sure it's pulled a little bit tight and then carry on with your three half double crochets in the next space one two three and you'll notice that that starts lining up really nicely so now again, slip stitch into the space between these two clusters. And then three half double crochets. So this is a really easy join method. 
and it comes together fairly quickly. And then that way you can just start joining your blocks as you make them. You don't have to sew them all together at the end. And if you were attaching this to your very first block, you would just attach the one side. You wouldn't have to do um, the remaining corner. But I'll show you how to do the corner on this one. So three half doubles from the front back, slip stitch. I'll speed this up just a little and then I'll show you the corner. Two, three, slip stitch. And then you do wanna make sure that it all lines up here. So you'll see that these clusters all will line up perfectly. So for your corner, you're gonna do three half doubles. You're just gonna chain one. And then what you wanna do is slip stitch into the block that's across from you. So if, again, we were just attaching it to one block, you would attach it into the block next to you. But since this is a corner, you wanna attach into the one across. So we're gonna go into that chain space. Just pop your hook in, slip stitch and then carried on along down the next side. So three half doubles, slip stitch, three half double crochets, slip stitch. All right, and then for the last corner, we're gonna do three half doubles, chain one, slip stitch into the corner, into that chain two space. And then you'll work this row like normal. So just three half double crochets into each space. I'll meet you when we get back here and show you how to finish off this round. All right, so to finish this round, you're just gonna do your three half double crochets, chain two, and then slip stitch into your first chain space. And that completes your block. That completes the join as you go method. You can weave in your ends at this point. And that gives just such a nice, clean finish and it attaches them perfectly. So I have the full free written pattern available on my website for this blanket. Um, I believe I did five wide and I did seven blocks tall. Um, and I did do a gingham type pattern. So again, I had the three different colored blocks and I alternated the rows. So this entire row is the sun gold, the turquoise sun gold alternated, and then this has the navy blue and the turquoise. And of course you can make it however you want. You could turn these into a blanket, a pillow, um, bags. You can continue with the granny squares to even make them larger. But I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. This was a really fun blanket to make um, and I love the colors. I really like the way that it turned out and I really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, you can leave um, a comment down below. I'm also very active on Instagram, so you can head on over there if you need me immediately. And again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.